Hey, hey, friends, Fuya here once again. Welcome back to episode two of our Toho Puppet Dance Performance Shard of Dreams playthrough. Let's just jump right into things here. As you can see, we left off right outside the rest area. Nothing else changed. So let's just kind of get right into things. So we started out, had a really, really good result with Power Aya starting off with the correct uh, focus attack mark. Keep in mind that that isn't a guarantee, in fact, that's a 1 out of 6 chance. So that's why I said to save before encountering your puppet, because after you encounter them, their stats are fixed. So, always a very good idea to, if you're planning to do any rerolling, to do that. But it did not become necessary, so life is good. Useful tips. Your puppets can learn skills with PP gained from battle. And if you've been fighting around at all, that's about when you would have gotten your first skill unlocked. So, very good at teaching you that. You can do so from the puppet enhancing screen, also under the edit option. Watch out, your puppets can't use the skill unless you teach it to them first. Useful tips. Each puppet has a mark that enhances their abilities. Each kind of mark enhances different stats. Pay close attention to it. Just like I discussed. So, keep on... Oh, oh, that's right, you're not an enemy. Well, you are. You just, didn't want, you just wanted me to uh, talk to you. That's nice. Some enemies, uh, you know, you have to make eye contact. Some just say, yeah, unless you talk to me, I don't care. You have puppets? So you're a puppeteer. Fight me with my puppets. I like how there's a pre-battle music for a lot of things, and then there's the actual battle music, which sometimes changes depending on your point. Okay, so I should be able to crunch... Good damage. You know what? Swap out to. Hopefully, Sager can handle it. I think she's got this. I all of a sudden don't think she's got this. Mm, so 6 and 7 was 13, so there's a chance I could get KO'd. So let's bring in Aya to do the sweep. They just still got experience from fighting. It's gonna be a weak hit, but no big deal. Aren't you wind themed? Oh, really good damage. And good game. So as you can see, a significant experience increase just from the two puppets versus the others. Do I care about Chen or Lily? Not particularly. I'll win next time. Gonna run back quick and heal. Since everybody took a good beating. And healing is super, super quick. So. Keep on rolling. What's the sign say? Useful tips. You can sack two poison effects into heavy poison. That's cool. Heavy poison will deplete HP faster than regular poison. With Seija, you could easily do that. Good idea. Hard to say. Obtained seal thread. Hooray. Made out there without taking a bite. Awesome. You're a new face to see around here. This is some kind of fate. Shall we have a battle? Armor Motoyuki would like to battle. Sent out Shizuha. Alright, so memory really being grass type, well, nature type, I think. Makes sense, because you're one of those nature spirits. But it shouldn't be a big deal, we'll just yin yin until you can't yin yin anymore. But I think you might win this fight. Definitely seems likely. Ooh, but I got a good critical hit. She did not. That was the difference in this fight. 
Now, keep in mind that it doesn't matter when you send a puppet out, it just matters that you sent them out in the first place. So, I could send Seija out at the start and then, you know, toss her away and she'd get full experience from every single fight because it doesn't keep track of them based on puppet. You track based on if you sent them out in the first place. Poison. Nice pain. No, not gonna really make, make a huge difference, but I'll be at least two or three turns to take poison, so it's all good. Now, wind against nature doesn't actually do anything. Feels good. Getting that full, full attack boost. That was a good experience boost. Nazarene got a skill. You did better than I thought you would. Well, thank you. Actually, I'll go into edit. I'm not going to do too much with you, but. Mud Dingo. Go into you since I actually am using you more than I thought I would. Uh, I'll keep that one first. Useful tips You can allocate the PP your puppets have gained in battle to their stats. Stats increase according to the puppet's level and how much PP you allocated. Try it if you feel your adventure is getting tough. Just like I'd mentioned in the previous video. Who's your boss, Senbei? Oh, that's right, there is an item here. I was about to say, I don't think there's any other items. 99% sure nothing other has. Uh, Chen. Ooh, a weekend versus level 2. I should be able to win. Famous last words. Oh, yeah. No problem. That's what I thought. But that's okay. And look at that. Another rock we could break to go find a secret area. Remember that one in particular, friends, because that could play until later on. No one village ahead. Bonk. Ouch! Your name is Medicine. Watch where you're going. Pay attention to the hands. They are drawn like that for a reason. Because they are jointed. You also have puppets. Hmm. Unfortunately, I've got no time for you. Now get out of my way. You know what's good for you. You won't ever let me see you again. So she is actually a doll that went into um, you know, basically a field of suzerain flowers and you kind of gained consciousness that way. Um, you know, being almost a puppet herself, though not really, but not interesting. You're a new phase around here, right? This is human village. Don't cause any trouble. Hey kitty. Nya nya. Couldn't have said it better myself. Jane to be necklace. I've seen a puppet come out from a barrel before. That was surprising. Okay, before we go any farther, we're going to dip over here and heal. Welcome. Would you like to rest? Absolutely. See you next time. Have you ever heard of the new puppeteer that showed up on the newspaper? I heard they're from the outside. That person related to this incident? Certain someone... Not naming any names... Works quick. This place attracts a lot of chatty people. Good place to gather information. Well, these are all just rumors. I can't guarantee their credibility. Sweet buns and tasty crackers are on sale. Today's Boom Boom Maru Newspaper's Puppeteer's Ranking. There's a new name on it. Soon, you will be at the top. I heard that they have a special background and quickly adapted to the puppet instance after coming to against Tokyo. I wonder what that person looks like. Yeah, I don't know. Or some sort of odd hat. Hmm, I haven't seen you around. You have puppets? Use the rest area frequently. Even if your puppets have HP, you can't use their skills without SP. 
So just like the PP from Pokemon where after using skills, they kind of cycle through. It is what it is. Resting Pace Oasis. You have some business at Hyas? Don't be rude. Eventually you will. Now we have a save point. Nothing with the bucket. Bubba just jumped out. And a fairly dangerous one at that. So Kizume. These can be one of the ones I want to snag. Not necessarily long term, but short term for sure. Okay, so she didn't do the burn thing. That's good. I'll just do some gain energy and beat you down a little bit. Oh, there we go. I have been burned. Okay, so... Yuzume is useful for her burn. So, being able to inflict that on an enemy could be useful. I'm gonna seal her, because obviously we want to have her later. Wait, I'm already burned. Oh wait, you can become heavily burned. And then it ticks just like a little toxic or heavy poison. Um, and just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Looks I had to waste a turn doing this, but I'll use some of my gun. I've been burned. Like I said, keys and can be annoying. And she's reasonably tanky, so she can get time to use her abilities. But, she'll stay up. We got her. She's me join the party. No nickname. I got used to seeing puppets around here, but there must be even more of them. I'm too scared to leave the human village, though. But more down there. We'll go there in a sec. I want to... Remind everybody that you, can, you do stay fast effect throughout. Though I don't believe you ever get Poison Tick outside of battle, which is a nice little addition. I could be wrong, though. It has been just a little while since my previous playthrough. Alrighty, so... You like me yet? That would be a no. Okay... Get Seal Thread... Nice area. I have nothing here right now, though. That'll keep going throughout the town. There you go. Cool. Hey, don't look at me so closely. You'll ruin my disguise. Disguise? What disguise? Well, not to spoil it, but she is a yokai. <laughs> I'm playing with my puppets at my secret place. Don't tell my grandpa. Do you have anything to bribe me with? Nope. My granddaughter says, I want to be a puppeteer. I want to do something so dangerous. Not that dangerous. You just shoot fire and all sorts of other goodies. A little air over here. Again, pretty. Nothing that you can grab or snag at this point. There's an offering. Hey, is that one lady that was sleeping on the bench? Yumi Reko is her name. Are you from the outside? It's surprising to see someone else in this dream. Be careful, this is no ordinary dream. If you get injured here, you may be harmed in real life. Or you could die. They're both equally likely. It's surprising to see someone else in this dream. <laughs> yep. So... Her story is an interesting one, we'll save that for another time. We'll come up way too much here though, but... Boutique, unfortunately we are on a special holiday now. We look forward to your next visit. And he, that's why I'm preventing curious people like you from trespassing here. Yeah, okay, you can't go by. You must stick to the boat. For now. The game does open up significantly later on. More than tea. Now that one, I believe, is a... Um, yeah, the stats ammo one. That's always useful. Except for when you're fighting things that just re-inflict it, but... Details. Again, another area you can't go through. Another house, and we'll go back through the areas we missed. Puppets, the Shiki Warashi. Living alone in Gensokyo is not lonely. 
Are you a puppeteer too? Collecting, fighting, might be tough, but do your best. She's really happy. Okay, so we'll go down here, which is a nice little side area. Nothing really there, but I don't know, those might play into, play into the story later on. You came from the Hakurei Shrine. I heard it's been taken over by Yokai. Was everything okay? I mean, maybe. This is always a humorous one. Bellaban got the wheel stuck in a gap while turning around. Can you clear the way, you say? I'm sorry, but could you wait a bit? I promise you, I'll be moving shortly. Truck full of food. This may or may not be the first time or last time we see them. Coco, -co -co cookie. I got a puppet earlier this year, and it's making farming easy. But it's not going that well. It keeps damaging the crops. Ooh, an item. There's the old thread. I really love how fleshed out... You know where go, right? I really love how fleshed out the human village is. Hey, watch where you're walking. It's almost time for summer harvest. Bye, bad. Yeah, yeah. Preparations are waiting for the pub exhibition. So this is a post post game thing that unlocks is three and there's three and three battles. You know, obviously one at a time. There's no double battle or triple battles here like in Pokemon. Comparing this venue, so you can't pass. It's completely optional. One of those I'm not going to show it off on video, but you can earn special items that obviously don't transfer over to the game plus. But it's, it's a fun little challenge. I started public battling recently. I'm a greenhorn now, but soon I'll be better. Public battling is trending, huh? I want to see Hata's Chinkido again, but I wonder when it'll be on the show. Hakurei Maiden is added at the shrine, too. Yeah, this puppet incident's got everything in an uproar, but why did it start? My puppet's so cute. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. Can you stop destroying my puppet in my own time, please? To be fair, she is awesome. Obtained bead necklace. Ooh! Oh, okay. Sometimes in those little gaps you can find secret items. We've got to kind of keep an eye out. I won't go over there yet. First, strange rumors spread wide now. Puppets start swarming in Tokyo. But I hope they won't harm us. Okay, so yeah. Now we're going to sneak over here. You'll see we made a nice little loop. We'll go up there in a minute to fight some more puppets and get some more stuff. But there's more of the village to explore. Um, why are you looking at me like that? I'm not a yokai. Trust me. The Dragon God. The crater, which is the aspect of nature. Which is said to traverse through various worlds. Awesome little design there. I heard that a newbie puppeteer came to the village at the resting place. Dang, you're quick. Kurosami's general goods. We have everything. Disclaimer. Everything is limited to the boys in our store's inventory. But close enough to everything, right? You should buy strings to catch puppets. The more the better. You do not want to be on the strings when you see a puppet you want. Not really anything to look at necessarily. Inscriptions. Use accessories by giving them to your puppets. You can't use them on yourself, so be careful. And you know, that's going to come into play later on. Today's recommendation, seal threads. You can't catch your puppets without some of these, so I reckon you, can, you buy about 255 of them? Maybe not that many, but welcome, would you like to buy something? And these are pretty nice, you know, if you want a particular skill. Obviously, don't really need them right now, but if you want to have a nice little boost to a skill type, it's nice. Ah, uh, this one right here. Oh, that's right. Ooh, we have it in this one. Okay, so we kind of completed a semi-loop. There's still one in our stretch we have not gone through. We haven't gone right here. Bucket on our head. This bucket looks quite scrumptious, doesn't it? I love it. What do I mean by scrumptious? <laughs> Alright, what do you got here? That building is a school. Kane teaches children there. Sometimes I hear a lot of noise coming from there. wonder what it is. Have you ever heard of abilities? Each puppet has their own, and they take advantage of them in battles. Recently, Kane's lessons about puppets and fun. Usually I sleep... Uh, never mind. Not only are attacking skills important, status skills are too to gain advantage in battle. 
For example, lowering enemy accuracy or raising your focus attack. Honestly, throwing out attacks hoping the opponent faints first is not the proper way to do puppet battles. Early on, actually, yes it is. Once you get the two stage drops, it changes dramatically. Have you ever heard of piercing elemental barriers? They'll make the damage double depending on their compatibility. For example, a water skill will pierce a fire puppet's barrier, aka critically effective. Uh, and super effective, oh sorry, super effective attack. <laughs> super effective attack, indeed. Little Pokemon standby. I haven't seen that happen yet, but soon. Focus. Pu focus skills are related to a puppet's focus stat. The higher focus attack, full attack, the greater the damage to the enemy. Also, same thing with focus defense. Display with red letters. That's a good hint. If you see a red skill in red, that means focus. Uh, spread skills, similarly. Uh, spread stat, SP attack stat, uh, greater damage. They're in blue. And same thing with spread defense. Good old school teacher game. We changed the contents of our lessons because puppet-related troubles are increasing. You should learn about puppets here, too. We'll see you again, I'm sure. Hello, person. Although Susanon has already stored a lot of books, the mansion at the lake surely has a larger collection. I doubt that they ever finished reading all the books that they'd gathered. The mansion at the lake. Long time people may know what that is, but we're not going to spoil anything. Dumplings, dumplings, dump, dumplings, dumplings, so tasty. Not share? No? Oh, okay, fine. We do our Sunday. And item up here. Another, so we get a lot of good free healing items, which may come in handy. Yeah, yeah. Or it might not. We'll see. That's right, where I talked to you. I've already been in there. You, however. The bookshop's shopkeeper often reads us stories. Stories of how to protect ourselves from yokai. That tanuki from this story was pathetic. Aww. We're still preparing. Okay, so. One place we have not been is up through the big gate. But we're not going to go there yet because we are going to do a little bit of mild farming. We're going to see what we can find. A big, big, big win would be Kokoro, which you can see the puppet actually on the left side with the pink hair. Why? Well... It can be very useful when evolved, we'll say that. It's pretty cool too. Pop her out. Cool. Alright, so straight up fighting may not win me the game, but I'm gonna try anyway. Sermon. <laughs> That's been weakened. A weakened, weakened special attacks, I believe. Or spread attacks. You know, I guess I'll just contagion you at this point. Oh, that's right, she's steel. Alright, that's not good. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, let me swap out to Aya. Aya, 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 Aya. Yeah, Kane's actually pretty strong earlier on. And shielding herself as I bring out someone who can do physical attacks. Wonderful! Uh, wind... I think we'll be okay. That's weak, that's right, because steel. Duh. This one might take a little bit of a... If we have good stats. And special attack in this case, or spread attack. So, I got... I can frankly just ignore the shield up at this point. Uh, in fact, I'll even do a... Steel thread. As you can tell. Oh! My goodness. That's right. It does have a chance to fail. Oh! Okay, uh, Nazarin. This is gonna be good tanking then, because steel. Steel is neutral against earth, but weak against steel. Oh, and then of course you do that. <laughs> oh, we're having fun. Let's see if I can steal again. There we go. Yeah, the stronger the enemy, the more likely the seal can fail. But once it takes effect, then it doesn't matter. Because there are different tiers of. Well, this should be. Super effective, right? Boom. It hurt hard, but it should be alive. Yep. And then finishing it off. Man, that was a dangerous fight. Obviously, uh, steel is good against. Well, steel hurts a lot. We'll say that. Alrighty. And of course, steel being strong against wind doesn't help either. So, we got new skills for Sage and Chen. Chen doesn't really matter, Lloyd really doesn't matter, but we also got Kane. 
gonna go back and recover a little bit, but uh, also do a swap out. Now, Lily, here's the thing, Lily and Chen, neither of them are particularly great. But I think it has their uses later on. But Lily is a void type, so she's effectively a normal type. I don't really have that much going for her, but my Chen was pretty bad, so I'm just going to swap out Chen. Or Lily. And eventually I will swap out my Chen for hopefully Kokoro. Uh, you know what? I'll even swap Kane in, because she's going to be better against what I'm fighting here. Hopefully. Oh god. Sure, why not? Now, how good is Hammer Throw versus CM Energy? I guess let's do Hammer Throw. Obviously, it's going to be. Not very effective, but I'm curious if... Ah, here we go again. Okay, good damage. Oh, makes sense. Quick look. Alright, we're just gonna charge in Cruncher. I totally forgot I was gonna check out her... That boot. Oh, that's why she was doing so much damage. She's got an S and fit. This girl attack. Nice. You know, that's actually not terrible stats for her. We could be probably not gonna use her long term, but that's pretty dang good. Oh brother. I'd be weak, yes, you can be weakened and heavily weakened. Now She's got a defense boost. Here, have it. Have it taste your own medicine. But it's still gonna go down. No problems. I'm done. I'm gonna swap out King with Nazarene. Suzu, I have never used her. She actually has a really interesting evolution that option that she can do. Again, everyone has different options um, that involve finding certain books around the world. Change her typing. Don't. Okay, Moody. That's a good ability. But I don't really think she's. Oh, I was going to steal her. Oops. Well, I'm sure we'll have another fight. I think she's going to be a good long-term puppet. Every time I kind of thought maybe I'd include her in a team, it was just one of those where, uh, eh. This is unfortunate. I don't know if that, my thing shows one of the, um, of this being clear because it's, of course, affected by heavy meat. Or just any of the stats, in fact, they'll show that clear instead of red. Also, Nazarene is a very good king counter. Hey, yeah, excuse me, guys. Go. I forget which one it is, but I think it's a damaging fire one. Ooh, big money. Okay. So, this is what I was hoping for. Yin energy. <laughs> Please don't kill her. She's actually a rare, rare spawn. So, I am going to steal you. Bingo. And... Fight. Good, 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 good. Alright, that's all the farming I was really looking to do, so I'll move on in a second. I might actually do a fight or two with Kokoro just to see if she can level up. Hope I got a good, good stat range. That's the thing, I could have brought a new game plus team in with all perfect stats for everything, but I figured it's more fun to show this catching of things and also kind of demonstrate, you know what different guys you can find in different spaces. So, let's see. Hold on here. Oh, okay, I just wasn't 
having a good good stick direction. The void and fighting, it's an okay combination. Focus attack gets the boost. Uh, it may not be ideal, but that boost or stat stuff isn't very good. But it is what it is. So, we have Coco. Match. We are going to do just a fight or two, just a quick booster quick. The extra experience will come in handy. But believe it or not, we have some tough battles coming up. Oh, Psyche Benki. He's pretty cool. Ow. Alright, let's send I out there to take a beating. Well, that was a crit. I was like, dang, it did a lot more damage than I thought. I don't think this will kill her. That'll be close. Yep. Alright, so they weaken, so the seal thread should be easy enough to use. Gotcha. And now he's got to finish the fight. Let's take it back here. Alright, one more fight for Coco for level 6 and we'll kind of go with it. And Kane is a good one because I can just swap to Nazarene and Cloud Issue. Fine. So, Nazarene, go. Nazarene's a pretty good early pop, but he, having steel typing early on with. Earth typing as well is pretty solid, though it does open you up to some weaknesses, but a dingo solid. Yeah, keep in mind if you ever come across a fighting type, Nazarene will be one shot because four times weakness. Earth is weak to fighting, fossil steel is weak to fighting. So obviously, level 7 Coco would uh, absolutely crunch her. Alright, good enough. That's what I was looking for. So, let's go into Aya. She didn't learn any new abilities, I don't believe, but she does have some stats I can boost up. So you can already see you're starting to get some stat boosts, which is very nice. Uh, max that out. Her speed will be up next. That'll let her already, she's already very fast based stats for speed, but that'll let her outspeed everything else. Alright, so. Uh, Kokoro doesn't have any skills yet. Oh, sorry, I can show off Kokoro's skill card. Or my skill card. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have ability points to show that. I'm Justin, this is okay, but not useful early on because everything has so many spot or, um, skills. Purple Smog is nice. Getting some uh, damage. A little bit of damage to get an energy, but she's poison type, so she gets. I'm not going to do anything with attack stuff yet. I don't think Nazarene learned anything useful. Oh, Kizme, that's right. Kizme did. I like Billy, I can show off. And Domino. That's the one she starts with, which makes her stupidly annoying later on because, especially if you find her in the wild, you're used to one hit Kale and stuff, and then she doesn't, and then she gets a burn off, and everything sucks. Uh, also, some guts is pretty fun too, but it's not useful until later on because nothing in his attack is set for 90 or more. Bloody Storm is cool. Getting a dark type move this early on is pretty handy. Uh, as you can see, she's got a lot of defense stats, which is nice. Kane, I don't think you or anything because you already got it automatically, yeah. So, solid enough. Let us do one quick heal, and then we're going to charge right into the next session of battles. Well, story, I should say. But there will be some battles coming up soon. Alright, so, for those who are familiar with Gensoko, you might know what's sliding for uh, hiding behind the gate. Got this nice little mansion. Ah, that's right, there's nothing there. I just want to make sure. This is Aki's mansion, so you might have recognized or know the puppet that I was dealing with to be able to swap my puppets out. Now, this is actually the character it's based off. But first, let's explore around and see if we can find anything neat. Or talk to people. 
The master's out now. We can take a message for him. So, obviously, send the ones where we gotta go to. We're ignoring that. Just maybe treasures or talk to people. Cleaning, cleaning, so fun. Oh, visitor. Miss Aku is in the room next to here. So she's kind of... Her story's interesting. She reincarnates in a slightly different form, but with all her memories of the previous life. So, just kind of an interesting character in general. She's a very, very weak, frail human, though. So you are the one that everyone has been talking about. Ah, excuse me. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Akio, the head of the Heida family. I've read about you in the Tengu special issues. It seems you are quite talented in manipulating puppets. I see. Renee told me told you to meet me here, right? Oh yes. Hmm, so you're investigating the puppets since you can find your way home? To be honest with you, I have very little knowledge regarding the incident as well. The only thing we know so far is that puppets can only be dealt with by other puppets. We've been able to defend the village since we discovered the puppet sealant methods. But it doesn't solve the root of the problem. Please, enjoy your time here in the village while we continue to research the matter. We will inform you when we make progress in the research. We don't have anything remarkable, but I bet you will find something that is very special to you in your world. Please enjoy your time. Yep. Oh, I almost forgot! I've heard some rumors about suspicious individuals lurking about around in the village. I'm not certain if these rumors are true, but it is better to inform you for your own well-being. Okay, cool. Oh, who is that? Her name is Virgil. Whoa, they found us! Run! Uh-oh. So we have an interesting group here. over there. I will save. And let's do this. They found us. What do we do? Just leave them to me, the strongest, to beat the socks off them. Ha, you're so cool, Chiruno. By the way, is that human, is that the human wriggle saw earlier? Hi. Wow, they're already here. I guess we have no other choice. Everyone, <laughs> ditch Chirino and run! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, you did say you are going to beat the socks off. Freeze! We are the Puppet Liberation Front. You'll be beat by me, the strongest, so badly you'll cry like a baby. This means war. Puppet Liberation Front, Chirino would like to battle. Chirino sent out Rumia. Oh, Kokoro. So, uh, I believe Rumia is a dark type, which means she's strong against Void. Fighting does not too... It does well against dark. We could risk it, but I don't have any fighting type ability, so we're just gonna, we're gonna pass that fight off. Um, dark? I think Nazarene could just straight fight her. Yep, there we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do Monday and go and hope for the best. Yeah, I believe Dark actually doesn't make it miss more. I think it just reduces your damage significantly for physical attacks, which of course, answering is physical based. Carrier up. Oh no. Attack type I'm not doing. Thank you, kind, uh, enemy AI. Let's point out, I think Dark Ball has a 10% chance to cause Dark. Well, fantastic. But it doesn't matter, we win. Enemy Rumia has fainted. She didn't sent out. I don't know, who do you think it's gonna be? I'm going to actually... Fire type would die straight up. Um... You are fire, straight fire, right? Fire and dark, but it doesn't help me out here. I'm send out Sage, uh, do some poison. Good luck. Oh no. Heedros. Alright, that could be worse. 
15 energy. If it doesn't do more than 15, I'll just be able to get two shots. Okay, we're good. And she has been poisoned. Do it again. Now that could be troublesome. If she starts getting like, special defenses, whatever. Badly poisoned. Starts off low and then starts chunking high, high, high damage per turn. I'm gonna swap to Aya so she gets some experience and some, uh. chance to tank a little bit. Lost Edge. Yeah, I saw them coming. That hurts. Poison starts off very, very slow though. You're not faster than me though with the speed up, I don't think. Because Aya is just. super fast. Oh yeah, and then one shot. See, remember those little extra points I was getting in damage? Just the extra few? It makes a big difference. So, a couple of new skills with Nazarene Aya and Kokoro. That's super useful. Ugh. I've never heard of a creature that could be even stronger than the strongest. Now, you should be celebrating over the biggest victory ever. And forget about chasing my friends who are still on the run. Just forget about them, understand? What does the Puppet Liberation Front do? But why should I tell you, dummy? Or as it will say in uh, the Japanese version, Baka. <laughs> Alright, so let's heal up our puppets. And to finish things off, let's go ahead and look at our new upgrade options here. So Kokoro, start off with her. Uh, skills, scatter beam, void type attack. Often nice Kerfoots. Well, for her, that's actually pretty good because Void is only bad against Light, Dark, and then has no effect against Illusion-type puppets. So, everything else is straight damage against. So that's very useful in the right circumstances. Of course, she still has Dream as a possibility. So, actually, we have So, Seija, I'm gonna skip through things here. Oh yeah, what did she get? Ganda. Sharply raises the user's speed. Now, oops, sorry about that. So now, I don't really think Skanda is worth it because why do I need to be faster when I'm already faster than everything else? We're skipping that one. Uh, Kane did gain the new Nazarene did, however. Hammer throw. That is a huge pickup because now I have her earth and steel typings. And effectively she's just gonna be crunching things, so that's good. And I'm gonna, go, actually, well, I'm gonna do that yet. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna do physical attacks here, so. We're gonna boost her up too. She actually might end up carrying me more than Aya does just because she's really, really good type wise right now. Alright, so let me. Let's see here. Kokoro. I was gonna answer, I was gonna change around her moves. That way it's on the lower left. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to change it further. Because this is more damage based, so we're going to do 70 as a base, and then Mudango as a secondary, and then beginning energy as number 3. And of course, Aya is just going to keep pounding away with her uh, wind type ability. Oh, it's about that time. What kind of mysteries does the game hold? What is this puppet liberation front? What are their goals, and what... In the world is that going to have to do with the rest of the story? Well, uh, not to spoil anything too much, but they might tie into things a little more than what you'd expect. If not now, later on. But we have four more members to hunt down, so we'll be starting right off with that next session, and then, well, who knows? It'll be an exciting time, though. For now, thank you so very much for watching, friends. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I am, because it is an absolute treat. It's one of my favorite games, so... Hopefully, as we continue to get into it, you'll kind of get more and more of an idea how the game plays, you know, what the quote-unquote gem in your battles can be like, etc. For now, thank you so very much, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next adventure.